Hey kids, it's TV's Baron Von Brunk, and I'm here today to show you one of my elaborate and unique electronic LEGO creations. A mosaic Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time spiritual stone lamp. I built this lamp back in the summer of 2014, when I was in the middle of my electronics revolution, aka a new creative era, in which I experimented with incorporating a lot of electronic components into my LEGO creations. Prior to this particular Zelda lamp, I built several other electronic LEGO creations, such as cube-shaped sprite lamps, a mosaic portrait of my cat, a fully functional traffic signal lamp, and a life-size replica of Han Solo's DL-44 blaster pistol from Star Wars, which lit up and played sounds using the power of Arduino. This method of making bedazzled sprite lamps was a concept that I created several months prior to the Zelda lamp. I made another video which explains this design principle in greater detail. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about this. Like most LEGO creations of mine, this particular project was incredibly difficult to build and ran into its share of engineering obstacles. For starters, my traditional sprite lamps contained a cube-shaped design. However, this new three-sided triangular pattern required a brand new engineering technique. Another major challenge was using the snot, or studs not on top method, to allow the Triforce pattern on the top roof to glow. This method was achieved by building the Triforce pattern sideways, and then placing it snugly within the top rails of the roof. And the final major challenge was designing the sprite patterns themselves. This is because my previous sprite designs were based on elements from the 8-bit era, where sprites and characters were much simpler and easier to obtain sprite patterns online. For instance, Websites like the Shy Guy Kingdom have a variety of options for gathering classic video game sprites, but fortunately, since The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was of course a 3D game, the design patterns had to be created from scratch. The design patterns were created by me in Microsoft Paint, and then mapped out digitally for reference when constructing the three LEGO panels. To achieve the look of multiple colors, I've mixed and blended different color transparent LEGO pieces against various colors of Technic bricks. For example, Transparent green LEGO pieces placed on green bricks will glow standard Kelly green, whereas placing transparent neon green on green bricks will have more of a lime color. I've also used the same technique to make darker shadows and brighter highlights on the Goan Ruby, using transparent red and orange LEGO pieces on brown bricks. And of course for gold colors, I use transparent yellow and orange LEGO pieces against yellow Technic bricks. The illumination for this project is achieved by placing a small candelabra lamp base within the center structure, which then contains a small 5,000 Kelvin LED bulb. Thanks for checking out this elegant electronic LEGO creation of mine. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on social media to get more updates on my LEGO creations and artwork. Also, check out these other videos of mine to see some more demonstrations and tutorials.